Hi there guys, it's Jack here from Pure Creative Designs and this video is going to be a bit different than the usual video um, this one's going to be on an app review of Photoshop for the iPad now I think you can get an iPhone version or an iPod Touch version for this but for this purpose I'm going to do it on an iPad it looks a lot better now it's called PS Express, Photoshop Express it's actually free in the App Store for now I don't know how long that's going to be free for but for, we should definitely give this a go so I'm just going to load the application now and as you can see, I created this nice Photoshop Express. Okay. So once we're here, we can either choose to go online, we can edit, or we can go on share. I want to edit a photo, so I'm going to select a photo, and it's going to take us into our library here. So I'm going to hit Saved Images, and I've just got this nice little uh, background here. A little apple sign with some uh, splatters around it, if you can see that. So once it's open, it's going to look something like this. We have a couple of um, things we can go around at the top here. I select new photo, we can share it, save, cancel, we can redo, undo, and we've got a couple of effects down the bottom here. Now, first off, I'm going to want to look at maybe um, adding a border to this. So if I click this little star down here, as you can see, we have effects and borders. I'm going to hit borders. Now, as you can see there, that's just a plain um, square border. You can go for a rounded border. Yeah, like that, pretty nice got this really oval type effect, pretty nice still and we've got this one I like a lot, it's where it's like um, a soft edge looks like it's, you know, someone's got the um, rubber tool gone to the edges with it and it's really nice and so look we've got this vintage one uh, on a vignette, vignette, I don't know how you say that it's just where the corners have just been taken off, don't really like it we got the rough edge, so that's quite nice doesn't really go with this photo I don't think then we've got this one here, that's the half tone that's pretty smart. And then we got this film emulsion. Emulsion. Yeah. Uh, that's quite nice, but I think the one I like the most of this one has got to be the soft edge. That's quite smart. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to hit OK down the bottom here. You can either cancel or click OK. So I'm going to click OK. Now, um, if we go back here, we can go to effects. And we can add different types of effects to this. And as you can see, we've got the vibrant, we've got the pop, so it's like a pop art type effect. Really nice that. Um, we have the vin Vignette Blur, I really like that one as well, it really makes the middle stand out, that's quite smart. We've got the um, Warm v Vintage, yeah, it's quite nice. Got the Rainbow, that one goes alright, doesn't really go that nice with this photo, but it does go with some others. Got the White Glow, nah, that doesn't really look that good. I've got the Soft Black and White, that's pretty smart, doesn't obviously go with this because you really want it to stand out. Now I'm going to go with the Vibrant because it really brings out the colours and that's really nice, so I'm going to hit OK. So we go along now, we can click this and we can choose to sketch, Soft Focus Sharpen, and as you can see it says Reduce Noise here, there's a little plus sign next to it, you have to buy that. So for all we know that um, uh, Adobe might actually bring more effects into this, that'd be really good to see. If we go into Sketch, as you can see, it's dark in the image. Now, if we slide our finger across, as you can see on the top here, it is actually increasing. So we can bring this up or we can decrease it, like so. It's pretty smart, but I don't really like that effect, so I'm going to hit cancel. If we go back here again, we can choose soft focus, and then we go up. As you can see, it's really like um, sort of blurring it in a way. It looks quite smart. I'm not going to do that because I want this really to stand out. If we go back, we can also sharpen this. We're bringing it up, we can obviously sharpen all the edges and bring out more effect on this but don't really need it that much for this um, because as you can see there it looks quite smart but don't really want it for this image okay so we go across now we can choose to expose um, exposure uh, so this is like as you see this is just like sort of um, should not actually the image is exposed it's quite nice um, I think it's not the best but I think it's quite a nice effect obviously it can come in handy in some different photos we go back, we've got the, sat the tint, I'll go there first, okay, and as you can see, on the top here we can scroll through all the colours, so I might just want like green, maybe just red, it's really nice, you can get some really nice out of that, um, effects out of that. Also we have the saturation, you can see, really desaturate that, looks quite good. Uh, what else have we got? We've got black and white, simply just black and white isn't it, you can't change that at all. I uh, don't want to do that, so I'm just going to hit undo. Okay, and uh, we have the contrast. So I might want to bring this up just a little bit, bring out some of the contrast. I mean, that's quite nice. We'll leave it there. Okay, so on, on the last one, we can choose to crop. Well, this is quite smart. You just drag down the corners to crop it. Say I wanted that part being cropped. 
like so. I could just crop the Apple logo, hit OK. There we are. I'm just going to undo that though. Um, we have to straighten it. So as you can see, uh, do these type of straighten effects. It's quite smart. Mm, don't know what really what you want to use it for. That's quite nice. Quite nice, but not going to use that for this. We can choose to rotate it, so we can generally just get two fingers and just move this around. That's pretty smart. And also we have flip, so we just swipe up and back down like so to flip the image upside down. So that's really, you know, really nice effect. Okay. So now, say if I finish with this, I can hit save, and that is going to save it into my uh, library. Now. Um, Say if I want to share this to um, Facebook, I can simply hit the share button once this is finished saving. It does take a bit to save, but then we have, you know, I've edited the photo quite a lot. It does come up like this. I'm going to select the photo because I might want to maybe share this. So I'm going to choose that one there. Okay. And so if I wanted to share it, if I hit share, okay, as you can see, we can either take it to Photoshop, um, yeah, Adobe itself, or we can choose to save it to Facebook. Literally by a click of a button, it'll ask you to obviously choose whatever you want. But that is it, guys. This is um, Photoshop for the iPad. Now, um, I think if anyone does have an iPad out there, and they definitely like this, I think it's really good if you um, have the um, thing where you can plug your camera in um, and use it from there. I think this is a really good um, thing you can get. Now, it is free, as I said. And um, yeah, I'm going to have a lot more. Um, uh, got I'm getting quite a few. Um, what, what tutorials am I getting on the way? Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of Cinema 4D tutorials soon, so if you like them, stay tuned. A lot of um, Dreamweaver as well, not as many, it's just going to be up to date, keeping up to date with Dreamweaver. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and it's a bit different than usual, but I thought, you know, Photoshop for the iPad, I think that's really smart. So, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash pcreatedesigns. That's it, guys.